Okay, today I'm gonna repair a real link hammer that's been cut. Wire's been cut. It was drilled into by accident around right here. So what I did was cut the wire right here and then separated the three pieces. Power, Ethernet, and reset button. Now if you're just powering the camera via power over Ethernet, you only need six cables to get that going. What you could do is get one of these Cat5, Cat6 uh, keystone jacks. And you're going to need some sort of punch down tool to punch the wires down. It's going to follow the Ethernet B standard. Let's see if I could get a good zoom. See, so we have green, green, white. Instead of brown, brown, white, we're just going to use a purple wire. Now the other side. We got orange, white, orange, and instead of blue, white, blue, we're going to have gray into either one of those slots. Now if you set it up like this, the camera will work via power or ethernet. This is all you need. Um, you can put some sort of cover, wrap it up in electrical tape. What I did was wrap up the rest right here, pulled out the wires I needed, wrapped up the rest, and I have these because I'm going to repair the other pieces. If you're just looking for power or ethernet, this will work. Now, if you want to repair the other parts of the camera, just separate the wires right here and all you're going to do is match colors. We're going to go brown to brown, black to black, red white to red white, just match all the colors. You're going to need something to connect them. You could solder them together, but if you don't have access to a soldering iron, you could use something like this. This is a little clip. It's usually filled with a little bit of, oh, there it goes, had it backwards. A little bit of silicone or some kind of gel. Keep it waterproof. Insert two wires, two of the same wires right in there. Use some pliers. Crimp down. That'll make a connection. You could also use something like this. It's the same idea. Filled with the same kind of gel to keep uh, the connection waterproof. Put two wires in. Use something to crimp and make that connection. Once all the connections are good, you could just wrap them up with electrical tape and everything will work as it normally would.